He fired a perfect shot to the back of its head, and the Nedrak fell forward, finally dead. Underneath the ruined stairway to Nick's left, more keening, screeching sounds started to reverberate as the rest of the swarm began to move. Nick grabbed Erin by the arm and dragged her into the room, drawing all six bolts across the door. When the aliens came, it wouldn't be enough. He tried to lift the Themista cannon off the trolley, and grunted as he strained his arm muscles. Erin opened the metal ring at her wrist and spun the power setting to max. She flicked the cover off of the line of bolts that ran from her elbow. With considerable effort, Nick lined them up with the underside of the gun and slotted it into place on her arm. The cannon fitted perfectly, and Erin held it up with ease. What model is it? she asked, flexing her fingers experimentally. Oh, well, forgive me if I didn't check, Nick replied, plugging one fluid cartridge into the gun and clipping two more onto Erin's belt. I was too busy trying to save your ass while you played tag with the alien. She grinned mischievously at him, and he grabbed the backpack and threw the remaining liquid canisters in to take back to Wormwood Base as supplies. It's new enough to have a release mechanism, if that's what you mean, he continued. I guess it's only ten years old. Then he switched back to the radio. We've got the cannon, Commander. Oh, well, finally, she sighed back down the channel. Erin wrinkled her nose. That woman is such a whiner, she mumbled. Our suspicions were correct, the Commander continued. Kanae's found the Druid Phenomenon. It's on the basement floor and breaking through as we speak. Shit, Aaron and Nick said together. Well, yes, she agreed. Get out of there and gather at the east side. Haynes, I want the ship over there. Stat. Yes, ma'am, Ryan's voice crackled over. Castoria, you know what to do. Uh-huh, let's just get out of here, Nick. The boy didn't need telling twice.